Hello everybody, in this video I want to talk with you about one very important subject for any eBay dropshipper or any eBay seller in general. This subject is when should you remove products from your eBay store? When should you actually click the end listing button on eBay's site? So I will speed this video for two main reasons when you should do this, but one second before this. I hear a lot of people who comes to me and say me, listen Leo, I will not remove this product because I spent a lot of time to, on this product, on the market research, or I spent a lot of money for my VAs to find this product, or I just think that maybe this product will sell for me in the future. Now, I recommend to any seller to put the emotions on, uh, outside of the business. Don't work uh, based on the emotions. Work based on the facts and based on the results. So the first result, actually the first parameter which I will check when I decide if I want to remove a product to end this thing or not, is if the product sold for me uh, in the past. If the listing didn't sell for me for one full month, I will take one of the next two actions. The first option is to go and release the product. So let's see how to do this. I will go to the active listings page I will not only release the product, I will list it and put a tag. So the next time I will know that this product I already released and I will not do this again. So let's see how to do it. I will go here, I will choose the product which didn't sell for me for at least one full month. I want to put one small note here, it's for the whole video for the two reasons. I will never remove products which, has, which have at least one uh, sold quantity. Also, I will not remove a product with many views. Why? Because I can replace the product a bit, maybe to change the title, maybe to change the price and still get sales. This way, I will not remove a product which, with views and I will not remove products with sold history because eBay are promoting these products more. I have another video which I will put a link here under this video about what to do with these products. So, let's back. I will put a tag here of product released, product released and I will click save changes. After that I will go again, make again the filter of uh, not sold products and click the released here. In AutoDS it's very easy, you just go to the filter and here you have the not sold between. If the listing didn't sell for you for a long period of time, I will remove the, this listing. Again, I will first do the filter, then I will put the tag and then I will click the release. I will do it only one time. On the next time, this listing will be removed. The other action which you can take is to just remove these products on the first month that they didn't sell. How to decide which of the methods is better? If you have enough virtual assistant or you have easy methods to find many products like AutoDS Finder or Chrome extension or any other tool which can help you to find many products, so we can always replace the products easily. In this case, I will just remove the products and I will not waste my time on doing this release. You can also uh, configure AutoDS to remove these products for you automatically. Just go to the monitors page, then go to the profitability monitor and here you can configure the uh, AutoDS to remove best selling products for you automatically every month, one day before you pay for these products again. The second reason which I will uh, uh, check and if this param is uh, exists, I will remove the product. Is if the product is out of stock for more than two weeks. If the product is out of stock for more than two, week, two weeks, I don't have a sales history on this product and no views. I will just remove this product and I will not uh, waste my time on this product and I will not waste my fees on this product. This way, we can improve our sell through and get more sales. So. To summarize, we have two options, one if the product didn't sell for one month, we will uh, remove this product or give it another try for another one month maximum. And the second option is if the product uh, didn't sell, if the product is out of stock for more than two weeks. I hope that you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment here under the video if you have any re uh, recommendations for any other videos or any questions about this video. See you on the next videos, bye bye.